Mm, good morning, beautiful morning. <sighs> Still in the Philippines, enjoying the warm weather, beautiful sunshine, coconut trees, banana trees. Been doing quite a bit of quite a bit of work, a lot of projects over the past few months, and because we had some really dry weather, no rain or anything for a while, now we're digging another well. Uh, a well that somebody actually went out and surveyed and said, hey, you got water right here. Because we went uh, probably, probably a good 30, 35 feet down in the ground digging in this well here and just didn't get what we needed. So, <sighs> going for a new well. Anyhow, this, uh, we had to move this, this is what I call a, a burn pit over here. It's right there. That was over here, and then we extended the driveway around there a little bit. Give us more room to be able to pull vehicles in and also go down this road. It's uh, a road to her brother's house. One of his houses he has. So they're digging the well over here and they're getting close to being done. Uh, once they get past this bedrock or down into it deep, then we're going to put uh, hollow blocks like this all the way around inside the well. So it'll be encapsulated inside, like kind of like this, all the way around. And we got a new pump to put in to pump up to this tank. And hopefully things just continue going well for us, but always have projects going on, which I enjoy. I always like to see the, the progress of everything. So, got a dog laying on my toes here, Snow. She's a sweet little dog. We got uh, this bamboo hanging here to keep things cool. And over here, I'm gonna do that. We added this big porch on to here and a table. And one of the things I'm gonna do is see above here. I've got the bamboo. I'm gonna move this out a little bit, but I'm gonna let this down. And it's going to go all the way down to the end, but I'm going to move it out just a little bit more instead of right here. I'm going to move it out to here. And air conditioning there. Plants are growing good, flowers. And we just got some bananas off of that banana tree, and we have more coming. There's a big tank here that when it rains, we get all the water fill this tank up and this tank's been full. We haven't really needed to use it. So the rain just goes right into this well right here temporarily. And that well stays full. So we got pumps, we installed pumps on the house, so we got pressurized water in the house now. Filtered water. This here is just an empty 10 liter jug, <clears throat> probably from me. I go and buy fresh water all the time because I haven't taken a chance since I've been here of accidentally, you know, getting some kind of little boat. That noise was the lid on this fire pit closing. I've got to do something to get that thing where it stays proper. Design. It's burning everything inside really well. Basketball court. I bought that ram, got some poles. Now the kids here, they work just as hard as, as the adults here when you ask them to. They just you say, hey, I need to dig a hole. I need to move gravel. I need to get sand put in bags, whatever. They're always running, doing whatever we want. No complaints at all. So. They love basketball, so I put this up. And last night, they were playing. All, all kinds of different kids, even adults, were playing until probably 10 o'clock last night. 
So here's our our driveway here after the bridge and in the back of the Indigo or the shed. And you can see all the material, lots of cement right there, and some plywood, and that's for the road. For the bridge, not this bridge, but the first bridge, the one after this that I'm going to, that goes across the rice fields. We had some torrential rains after not having rain for a long time. All of a sudden, we had torrential rain for a couple of days, but just one day alone, the first day was enough to let me know that the bridge, the first bridge that we're coming to where the rice field is, the water uh, tunnel, I guess you would call it, that allows water to, to come out, like, like right here. This is one on this bridge, and it has two of them. And don't have a whole lot of rice fields back there, so the water flow is not terrible. But you can see the bridge isn't much above what the rice field level is but there's good water flow going through here it's it's right here in this area about two foot wide and then at the other end of the bridge down there two foot wide it goes across underneath so this one's got pretty decent water flow hadn't really seen an issue with the water flow but the other one we have one big tunnel in the center uh, which is probably about four foot wide two pieces that were two foot wide right next to each other separated by a, a cement wall and when we got that torrential rain uh, water actually came up and was going over the bridge this first area that I'm coming to because we've seen uh, tree trunks of what they call sagging which is banana trees that had gotten onto the bridge and it actually was flowing through so hard that it was tearing up the rice on the outlet side right where the guy in green is standing so because of that we said man we got to have more passages for water to be able to go under this bridge so we got two more there's one right here and then there's one they just finished at the other end and in the center right there in the center that was the original one so causing it to focus yeah that's the original one it's like four foot wide separated by a wall in the center and at the other end we added one and added one here these are 30 inches wide each to get more water flow so with all the cement from this I didn't know how much we needed to get I just ordered like 40 bags and then we decided we we're going to get some extra hard concrete to add with it so I think we ended up with like 50 bags because we got 10 bags of the real uh, high pressure APO cement they call it. Good morning Ro. So we're going to go ahead and slowly cement this whole bridge and probably the other one too but we want to have two good bridges. So we've got good water flow now. Right there you can see we added this is the original I'm standing on. A lot of water flow but the, the outlet of it. It just completely wiped out all the rice that was right here. So this is where we stand. Bridge is good, I just wanted to add some water for it. So, little by little, we're gonna keep on getting this road in good shape. So we have a, a real good road to drive on, not just a path right now, it's just on this area here. We've had a lot of gravel to make it a road, but it's still not a, a road road as far as what I'm used to in the U.S. They wouldn't even make a gravel road in the U.S. So. That's the aim, is to make it like a gravel road, like you have in the U.S. right now. That's a very nice tricycle up here. He just had some metal work done to it. 
I think I'm going to get some sealer because it's got a lot of pot holes where they tack well and burn through. See if I can seal it up and, and entertain it. So, you can see this is, this is how we do some down here. They don't use a machine. Even, even if you buy a machine with a motor operating, it doesn't matter. We'll do it by hand. They prefer mm -hmm. it that way. So that's where we're at. And, Thank you.